He's in the red corner. This one's going to be an exciting fight here. Gaziev walking around the arena and outside. Actually had a bunch of kids following him. They were really surprised and shocked to see a man of his stature and his size walking around on God's green earth. Gaziev now straight away looking for the grappling exchange, looking for the underhooks here, pressuring with the body shots. Popov forced to accept his back against the cage. Gaziev now looking to pressure forward, dropping down for the single leg here. He's got to clear that underhook, though, the left underhook of Popov to better be able to snatch up the legs for a takedown. You can see that's why he's trying to push the arm away from him and clear the arm to go underneath the legs to secure the, C, uh, the takedown, excuse me. Shamil Gaziev from Bahrain working the top pressure here just looking for a way in to secure the legs he's got to clear that left arm though nice body shot from Shamil referee looking on here you could argue this would be an ample time for a separation just as I say that Popov looking for the takedown, but inevitably pulls Gaziev on top of him. That definitely wasn't the plan. Popov did a good job of popping up to the side control now. Popov did a great job of transitioning to a more dominant position here. Might look to mount in due course, but for now he's just trying to keep himself on top of Shamil. Shamil Gaziev did a great job of getting to his feet, throwing an uppercut for good measure. Gaziev using those long arms, those big uppercuts to sneak through. Nice left hook from Popov. Popov just briefly looking for the guillotine there. Shamil shaking that one off. knee from Shamil. Ten seconds of the round here. Shamil happy to press Popov up against the cage. Difficult for him to find a way in to secure the takedown. He's got to make those adjustments going back to his corner now in round two. Clearing the arms, using the dirty boxing to distract to move Popov around to secure the takedown. scramble here and the replay Shamil looking to drive pop off to the back there's the body shots from Shamil nice knee but just blocked pop off got that leg up in time to block the knee Here's the takedown here in the reverse in position. Shamil ended up on top and it was Popov that would sneak out of that position and secure the top position. Round two, touch of gloves here. Shamil Gaziev and Dmitry Popov. Gaziev in the blue with the red, uh, excuse me, the gold outfit. And Popov in the red. Big right hand, left hook here. Popov's wobbled, he's stumbling back here. Gaziev needs to separate and land these hands on Popov. He can't afford to initiate a clinch and then allow Popov to recover after those big shots.
Gadzev again, using all the weight and pressure to pin Popov up against the cage. Both these heavyweights, 120.2 kilograms or 265 pounds. That's a lot of weight to drive into your opponent and to force your opponent to carry up against the cage like this. It's often why you see almost a stalemate in this position. They're waiting for the little avenues for them to improve their position. With all this weight being transferred between the two of them, those opportunities are few and far between. Those knees are starting to hurt Popov though. You can see he pulled his arm down to try and protect his midsection. Nice knee again from Gaziev. Gaziev chipping away at Popov, Popov looking to the ref as if to say, come on, let's, let's get a separation here. But Shamil is controlling Popov here. He's the one on the outside. He's the one firing those body shots. Popov just happy to hold in this position here. It says to me that Popov wants to be able to get a separation. He's just saying safe. He's using his hips force back into the cage. working the body shots here. He's shaking his finger to the ref there, I think, to say, signify, don't separate us, but he's definitely in control here. He's working these body shots. Here, nice leg kick from Gaziev that briefly dropped Popov. There's the right hand that glances off the head of Popov as he rolls to the outside. Uppercut from Popov and a return left hook that sent him just taking that step back, which allowed Shamil to initiate this clinch and then work the body like he's tenderizing meat up against the cage. Touch of gloves, round three, three minutes left on the clock here. Gaziev in the blue corner in the gold attire, Popov in the red corner, in the red outfit. Popov from Kazakhstan and Gaziev from Bahrain. Nice right hand from Gaziev now. Gaziev looking to open up with the strikes at that distance, but initiating the clinch again, head under the chin of Popov. Big knee from Gaziev. Just under two minutes left on the clock here. IMF 2019 World Championships, live from Bahrain. It's been a pleasure to be here with you at Cage 2. As we see Shamil tenderize the body again, 
of Popov up against the cage. Shamil, very happy here to just stay dominant on the outside, control his opponent, work the knees, work the body shots. Shamil not really offering any advance in this position here. He's not looking for double underhooks, he's not looking to drop down and take this fight to the ground. He's feeling that he can hold his opponent here throughout the duration of this last minute in round three. Popov looking to get the takedown. Beautiful work from Popov. Waiting for the ample opportunity to work that body lock takedown. That could have stole Popov the round here. Brilliant work. Taking the initiative to add some action in this round three. 40 seconds left to work here. Shamil might look to hold on in this position. Popov has got to use the arm across the throat. Drive to, to break the grip of Shamil. I'd like to see Popov jump to the mount. He's got 30 seconds to work. If he can get to mount, he can start raining down the ground and pound. Popov now just happy to land the short shots here. He can't allow Shamil to get an opportunity to get that bottom knee in to work the half guard or retain the full guard. He's controlling this position now. I'd like to see him skip to mount here. He's got to force the hips down and skip to the back. But a very exciting finish to the third round here, largely due to Popov initiating that takedown. But we will go to the judges' scorecard to determine which heavyweight walks out of this cage, the winner, and moving on to the next round. We might get to see Popov's takedown here. There's the body lock, just circling around, drives all his weight. Beautiful takedown. Sends all the 265 pounds of Shamil down to the ground. Look at this body lock, trips the outside leg, takes him over the hips. Excellent work from Popov. Thank you. 